Hey folks, how's it going? It's Robert here. We're out for another day here. I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna shoot the second segment in my video for uh, for uh, what I take in the winter time with me out when I'm camping. Uh, I did a piece on what I wear for my clothing. Uh, I'm actually gonna do my tarp system. I will also do my uh, uh, sleep system in this video too so you folks stick with me and I'll be back folks that's what my pack system looks like loaded up with uh, all the gear uh, it's about I think around 22 pounds I'll weigh it and let you know uh, but that's got my wool under blanket it's got my uh, 10 by 10 uh, Tyvek tarp or, uh, yeah, Tyvek, I guess it's Tyvek, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's called something else, but it's the same as Tyvek. Um, my sleeping bag, that's good to like minus 15. Um, and my food and all my cook gear is in there. The same stuff I carry in my bag all the time. Uh, plus, I also have room on the side of it. I can attach, you know, if I wanted to take a sleep mat there, I can still get enough room on the straps. To attach more on the top uh, and I can go with more on the bottom too because actually it's still not really that high so and I mean it all fits and wears well and the only thing I don't have in there is my hatchet I have everything else except my hatchet but my hatchet would be easy to slide in there you get attached it anywhere is on there right or my pole axe whatever I want it to use Now we're starting to get a bit hot, so <clears throat> took off my uh, pants that I was wearing. I'm gonna come over on the bike. Strap them onto the top of the bag. Okay, folks, this is where I'm gonna do the video at. So we'll get the tarp and stuff set up. You guys have all seen that before, so I'll get that set up and then I'll be back. This is what my winter setup consists of. It's my sleeping bag. This is a minus 15 bag. I have my 10 by 10 Tyvek tarp. And I have a, I think it's like a 4 by 4 by 6. We'll measure here in a bit. Um, it's just a 4 by 6 tarp that has a that has a mylar safety blanket tarp and of course I have my under quilt that's probably about well I guess it's thirty six inches long or something like that between thirty and thirty six inches right and it's doubled over and folded uh, like twice wool blanket which is pretty warm I mean, you can use it as a as a covering like this if you want it to, to keep you warm. You know, if you had to, if your back was cold and you're up against the fire. Okay, you could use it a lot of different ways. Um, has shock cords tied to it, so we'll get the tarp and stuff set up, and then we'll uh, we'll be back. And of course, my hammock's there too. You guys have all seen my hammock, so I'm gonna get the ropes and stuff ready for this, and I'll get it set up, and I'll show you.
to do. Okay. Now these lines in here, I can tighten it up a bit more. But when I get in, I lay down the tarp, it doesn't touch me anywhere. So I'll show you the inside of that now. I got no doors for it, but, and from the air, you can barely see it because of the color it is. It'll shed water like crazy. I tie a drip line, drip line here and a drip line here. That way when I'm in it, you can come in, see what it looks like. And in here, I got a, quite a bit of movement when I get in it. Right, I won't be swinging all night, but uh, same way as up here, got a fair amount of headroom. Right, and you get in it, right in it, you're out of the way. So, again, like I said, I can tie that tie out too, out on the sides. I might do that, show you what it looks like. But let's go back to. I show you something else we can do too. So that's what it looks like. I got my mylar blanket on there too. So. <laughs> I get it in and on under me too. I can actually tighten it up a little bit on the edges if I want to. Right, so there's no wind blowing in. But uh, that's basically how it works. That's on there underneath the blanket when I get in. Of course, my uh, sleeping bag is here. I can just get in my sleeping bag and pull it in on top of me. Or I can get in it and zip it right up to the top. And then get in my uh, hammock. I've got a tendency to get up through the night because I drink so much coffee. So my uh, sleeping bag has actually got a foot box on it. <coughs> Here, so my feet actually go in and are completely encased and then I can unzip it all the way to the top and just tuck it in around me and that way if I get cold through the night a different spot I can move my sleeping bag around and I can bunch up the top the top's got drawstrings on it you can put like your jacket and stuff in there and bunch it all up and it makes like a pillow uh, I also use the bag too I put uh, my jacket or whatever's in there through the night that I have uh, used as a pillow where I can, you know, punch it up beside me and sleep on it. If I'm cold in a spot, I can, you know, pull my stuff out of my extra gloves or whatever I'm carrying. You know, if I have an extra sweater or something with me, I can pull it right out of the bag and uh, use it during the night, and that way it's right in there with me. So that's the basic setup there. It's pretty comfortable. I like it a lot. You know, and it's not like I, if I need to, if I get cold, 
I can take another uh, wool blanket with me. I can strap two more wool blankets right on the side and throw them on, in on top of me. And I may not ever be cold. I'm going to eventually get some shock cord to, uh, to use for, with my tarp. Uh, the sheet of... Uh, I was going to go with that ripstop nylon that you buy, but uh, Tyvek, I mean, it's, it's cheap. It was 20 bucks, 19.99 plus taxes for the sheet, so you couldn't ask for anything cheaper. And I mean, it's 9 by 10 or something like that, so it's good and big. And again, if I wanted to, I could, like if I got a lot of wind, I can uh, tie this out too to a tree off to one side with a piece of uh, paracord but I got marbles in the ends of my tarp to hold them together hey you could use anything you want I had marbles that's what I used and I mean I've used this tarp quite a few times it's it's uh, pretty good for not ripping my pressic knots are what hold my uh, my tarp tight uh, I mean I just tie my uh, tie my gear off when I tie it it's usually tied in the first little cross knot that you use and then it's tied in a fashion like that so that it doesn't come loose right so I usually go around right wrap it around so it stays there and then you tie it off in that first knot right same as this way right and then I just do this with it up through and pull it down on itself tight and you got a knot that is really taunt when you come to undo it it's just that simple like that and it comes right undone right and that's what the knot I use on pretty much all my stuff when I tie it off right you can take your corners too and close them off on the ends you just crisscross the lines this one you can pull in tighter it works pretty good I mean if you got heavy rain you can close it off pretty much to the point where there ain't nothing gonna get in at you or to you you can bunch them here too tie them up with a piece of string right if you got heavy heavy torrential rains bunch it up here on the ends uh, pull out your sides here right hang it to something over there same as what I did on that one same as this end you can bunch it off right once it's pulled out you'd never know that you weren't uh, that you were in a hammock for sure right there's all kinds of room on this side in there so well that's what you got you can bunch it right off so it works pretty good to keep the wind and stuff out it'd have been nice if the, the tarp had been I think the next time I do it well that hammock is long too eh? it's long it's like it's probably two feet longer than what I really need to be I mean one of them shorter hammocks that are six feet six and a half you would have no problem sleeping in it's a little harder to get into but you're as snug as a bug in a rug again if you got heavy heavy rain you take the corners bunch them together, tie a piece of rope on it, right? There's not too much going to get in there, right? There you are. Oh, totally the wrong way. I forgot the camera was over here. If you want, you can bunch it together too, way eh? The ends, right? Put them all together and tie with a little piece of string. And pretty much any drip that starts will stop right there. So, that's how you do it. When you get in, you just gotta get in from under here or over there, whatever, right? Works pretty good, stops mostly all the wind. Works good in the winter. You, know, you close it all in with snow at the bottom. And it's just pretty toasty warm in there. Right? It's like a cocoon. Right? So there it is, a Tyvek tarp. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this little segment on uh, my uh, winter sleep system. Anyway, folks, I'm going to finish my coffee. You guys have a great day, and uh, we'll see you later.